today I want to talk to you about a place called It's Necessary. See, I want to talk to you about a story in the Bible in Acts 28, 1 verses 10. And the story goes, Paul is now in prison and is on a ship. And the boat is now wrecked and he is washed upon a island with his prisoners. And the island is called Malta. And Paul has received word from God that it's necessary for the boat to be destroyed. And when he gets to this island, he starts a fire. And when starting this fire, a snake jumps out of the fire and fastens to his hand. Paul now is looking around and everyone on the island perceives him to be a murderer. And they say, it is just that the snake has bitten him because he was a murderer or a demon. Paul does not stay in that moment. He grabs the snake and then throws the snake into the fire. And the people around him are expecting him to die from this venomous snake. And I want to talk to you about it's necessary. You see, sometimes in life, it's necessary that we go through certain trials. What I've learned from this story is, is that Paul had to get bitten because after he is bitten by the snake, he meets the king of the island. And the king of the island father is sick. And Paul now has the opportunity to spread the gospel even further than he could even imagine. Now he heals the father and also he heals the land. What you're going through right now is necessary because God has given you a promise. And to get there, God will use certain things to train you. So let's not complain. Let's understand where God has us in this season because it's necessary for the purpose that he gave us.